it's an incredible honor. I've never thought in my wildest dreams that I'd be able to win this championship. And with all the dedication and hard work that I've put into to making this possible, it's finally realized. And I'm so excited and so honored to be everybody's champion, U.S. Amateur champion. Starting out with the NCAA win and then going and playing in a couple tour events with the big boys out there, it was an incredible experience. And then to top it off with the epitome of amateur golf is pretty incredible. Only five men in the history of the game have captured both the NCAA individual title and the U.S. Amateur in the same year. Bryson DeChambeau was one of those handful of players after his win at concession in June and a few months later at Olympia Fields claiming the Havemeyer Trophy with a 7-6 and six decision over the University of Virginia's Derek Bard. DeChambeau joins Jack Nicklaus, Phil Mickelson, Tiger Woods and Ryan Moore on this very exclusive list. Speaking of exclusive, great to have our college golf insiders with us, Steve Burkowski, Ryan Lavner. Uh, with everything that's going on in college golf, you have to focus on Bryson and what he did uh, the past spring and summer. Really one of the best players we've seen in quite some time if you look at titles. Well, you saw the resume of the people he joined with what he accomplished in 2015. That is remarkable, but it goes back to 2012 when Bryson made the commitment to owning his swing, to really approaching it a completely different way. All his irons are the same length. He's a physics major and wants to know everything about everything. And you would think that could get him in trouble. But right now, I think all those years of committing to the new process and his approach, Ryan, when you look at what he accomplished, it certainly has paid dividends the past six months. Absolutely, Burko. And really what stood out to me with Bryson's 2015 was this was the transformation of a player. Don't forget, a couple of years ago, this was a player who was just viewed as having a lot of top fives, top three finishes, top ten finishes. But that victory at the NCAA championship gave him self-belief and confidence, knowing that he could beat the best players in the game. You saw that carry over to the U.S. Amateur, where he looked like a world beater. You saw him carry over to the Walker Cup, where he was clearly one of the best players in that competition. It even carried over to the Australian Masters, a pro event where he tied for second there. So now, as we move on to 2016, his ceiling as a player has gotten so much higher because he has that confidence in knowing that he can get it done. So that is the good news, but some unfortunate news for DeChambeau and his teammates. In September, the NCAA announced that it had banned the Mustangs from postseason play in 2016, as well as slapping them with scholarship reductions because of multiple violations that involve, quote, recruiting and unethical conduct. This also means that DeChambeau will be unable to defend his title. This is bad news, guys, all the way around. But when you think about everything Bryson had at stake, certainly unfortunate news for him. Well, it really is. And when you consider what has been taken away from him, what's been taken away from the team. And I had a lot of coaches when I asked when we heard this news, Lisa, and they said they'd never heard of such harsh penalties coming down on a college program. Unfortunately, you break the rules. You're going to have to pay the price. But when I talked to Bryson about what he thought moving forward. He said he was contemplating leaving school anyhow to prepare for what a big 2016 was ahead of him. And I think the ban, Ryan, sort of was the final nail in the coffin. Yeah, I actually think this is probably going to be a good thing for Bryson. He's going to test his game against some pro competition. He can 100% focus on golf. He can get make sure everything is lined up in terms of sponsorships and where he's, where he's going to play when he turns pro. Yes, it's unfortunate, but he's going to put everything he can into the Masters. He's going to be ready for that tournament.